What is going on guys? My name is Kenji and welcome back to my channel. Hopefully it's not the first time you're watching one of my videos, but in case it is, I'm a fourth year medical student and biomedical science graduate studying King's College London. And in this video, I'll be giving you guys five things that I really honestly wish I knew before starting medical school. I recently made a video talking about the things that I wish I knew before starting biomedical science. So go check out that video if you care about biomedical science as well. And before starting the video, I wanna make a quick announcement and say that all of my notes that I use to prepare for my first, second and third year medical school exams, are fine publicly up on my website so if you guys would like to get the exact notes that i wrote myself using my lectures books and research in preparation for my medical school exams then please do go check them out without further ado let's get started the first thing that i really wish i knew before starting medical school was how chilled out it would actually be like don't get me wrong medicine is hard it is a hard degree there are a lot of hours that we have to spend revising and preparing for our exams but a lot of people including myself really believe that as soon as you start medical school it'll be the hardest thing in the entire world and you'll not have a life and that is entirely not true. Yes, it is busy, and yes, there are times during the year that you will not have a life, but these are short and they do eventually pass over. You have long summers during first, second, and third year, and you also have a few breaks throughout the year, and these are times that you can use to get away from medical school and enjoy your life, travel, see friends, see family, do whatever you wanna do, and really have a life outside of medical school as well. Do go check out my travel videos in Bali, in Budapest. I've honestly had the best time of my life in medical school. I know I said this my last video as well and i do mean it as well but i've had such a good time during medical school you know traveling the world seeing friends seeing family and the great thing about this now is that it's not life or death anymore when i was studying biomedical science if i didn't do well an exam i felt like it was the end of the world and um, you know that my future is ruined but medicine isn't like that anymore it's not life or death anymore if i get you know 60 percent in an exam it's not the end of the world i will still become a doctor and that makes life a lot more easier to live knowing that when i do start medical school i will still have a life i'll have a great time really would have made me a lot less anxious before actually starting medical school and I really wish I could give myself that bit of information before starting. So that is the first thing that I really wish I knew before starting medical school. The next thing that I really wish I knew before starting medical school is how infrequently I would actually use my stethoscope and if you guys don't know what a stethoscope is it's one of those things that doctors use to like listen to hearts and listen to lungs like you know the famous thing you put in your ear and you put it over your neck that you always see medical students wearing around the wards even though we don't actually use it that much. I'm just throwing this one in there but I honestly thought that when I start medical school I'll be running around the ward using my stethoscope diagnosing people left right and center and I honestly believe apart from listening to my own heart I've probably heard a faulty heart valve maybe once or twice I've probably heard a problem with someone's lungs maybe two times at max of course when you start medical school definitely buy a stethoscope but also understand that we medical students only buy stethoscopes for the clout to wear it on the hospitals wear it on the bus you know wear it on the underground <laughs> I'm only joking I didn't actually do that but a lot of it is just for the clout and I haven't actually used it that much the time where you will finally start to use your stethoscope is during your practical OSCE exams when you're hearing faulty things for the first time in your career and also of course more so in your fourth and fifth year and finally when you're a doctor but the preconception and misconception I had before that I'll be running around my stethoscope diagnosing people all around the hospital yeah, yeah, that just wasn't true. And I guess knowing this before medical school probably isn't something that would have made a difference anyways, but I just wanted to throw this one in there. Okay, so on a more serious note, again, linking back to the idea that you do have a life medical school, I really wish that I knew before starting medical school that I would have the best time of my entire life. First year of medical school was great. Second year of medical school was even better. And I have literally traveled the world. I have seen the most amazing things whilst in medical school. I have met even more amazing friends. I've been with people at the start of their life when they're being born. I've been with people at the end of their life as well. And I've had conversations with the most amazing patients. Yes, medical school is hard. Yes, it is extremely stressful sometimes. Yes, sometimes I wish I was studying a different degree, but as a whole in the majority all the hard work that i put in to get into medical school has hands down been so worth it and there is nothing else in the entire world that i would much rather be doing so hopefully what i've said before doesn't scare you medical school will be the best time of your life and i really wish i knew this before starting the next thing that i really wish i knew before starting medical school was that it would change my whole entire outlook on life when you actually start medical school uh, you you know you start off a bit naive or at least i was a bit naive you kind of know that you want to be a doctor you have a strong interest and passion for becoming a doctor but you obviously have never had a true experience of what it's like to be a doctor but then you start medical school and you start to see things that slowly change your life and change who you are for example i have been there at the start of life i've given birth to two babies myself wait no <laughs> okay that sounds wrong i have been there to give birth i've helped to give birth to two babies but okay that's still not quite right 
I have helped to deliver two babies before, and that has completely changed my outlook on life. I've been there during the middle of someone's life when they've just attempted to take their life. I've been in psychiatric hospitals taking history from someone who's literally just tried to end their life. And finally, I've been there at the end of someone's life when they're surrounded by the family, surrounded by the people they love, and that has been an absolute privilege. These experiences really do change you. They make you see life differently. They make you value your time on earth here so much more. They make you value the relationships you have and the people you spend your time with so much more. They make you realize what truly matters most in life and stop wasting time worrying about the things that don't matter as much in life. They make you worry a lot less about the things you have no control over. And this truly for me has been the biggest life-changing experience of my entire life. So I really want to tell you guys that if you're starting medical school soon or if you're in your early years in medical school, understand that the process will change you in a very positive way. The person you are on the first day of medical school will be completely different to the person you are on the, on the 1,800 days that there are in medical school. And that's something I honestly really wish I knew myself. The final thing that I really wish I knew for starting medical school is that it's not really about the product. It's not about the final thing of becoming a doctor. It's about the whole entire process. I honestly thought that becoming a doctor would be so quick and I'd be seeing changes in myself every single day. I honestly thought that after starting my hospital placements and spending one entire block in emergency medicine, I'll be able to diagnose every single condition that walks out of the a &E. Again, I thought I'd be running around with my stethoscope helping to save lives. But actually what I realize now and what I really wish I knew before is that becoming a doctor is an extremely slow and of course rewarding, but extremely slow process. What I wish I know is that you don't make really big changes really fast. You make tiny, tiny changes to your personality, to your growth, that after the 1,825 days of medical school, you'll finally become the doctor that you want to be. And even then, you will still be on a process of continued learning. It won't be like Grey's Anatomy or Scrubs where they do crazy things on their first day of their internship. Even when you're a doctor, you may not be saving lives every single day. It will still be a long and slow process. So what I really wish I knew uh, before starting medical school is that what's even more important than becoming a doctor right at the end is enjoying the process every single step of the way. Because that's what it's truly about. Medical school is an extremely fun process. And when you start to enjoy the present moment and start to enjoy the whole entire process that is truly when you'll find happiness in the degree and that is truly when you'll appreciate being a medical student and hopefully a doctor one day so i'd like to conclude this video on that note i really hope you guys have enjoyed this video and hopefully it's given you more of an insight as to what medical school is like as i said if you guys want to check out the notes that i use to pass my exams in first and second and third year medical school then please click the link down in the description below and check them out for yourself but i really hope you guys have found this video enjoyable but other than that thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one